In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the indefinite integral of x divided by the square root of x plus 1 dx. Now, we need to use u substitution with a slight variation. Let's set u equal to x plus 1. So du is going to be the derivative of x plus 1, which is 1 times dx, or simply dx. Now, notice that x has the same power in the numerator and in the denominator. When you see something like this, typically you're going to have to do a u substitution problem, but you're also going to have to solve for x. So if we subtract both sides by 1 in this expression, we'll have that u minus 1 is equal to x. So let's replace x with u minus 1, and let's replace x plus 1 with u. And let's replace dx with du. So we're going to have the integral of u minus 1 divided by the square root of u du. Now at this point, what you need to do is separate it into two integrals. So let's divide u by the square root of u. And this will give us this integral. And let's divide negative 1 by the square root of u. So this is going to be minus integral of 1 over square root u du. So we can rewrite this as u to the 1, and the square root of u is just u to the half. Now, u divided by u to the half. When dividing, you need to subtract the exponents. So it's going to be the top exponent minus the bottom one. And so 1 minus 1 half is just a half. And this, we need to move to the top. So it's going to be the integral of u to the negative 1 half. And now we need to use the power rule in order to integrate this. So it's going to be u to the 1 half plus 1 divided by 1 half plus 1. And then for the other one, it's going to be u to the negative half plus 1 over negative half plus 1. And then plus some constant c. One half plus one is three over two. Negative one half plus one is one over two. And if you want to see the work for that, here's what you can do. So one half plus one. One, you can write that as two over two. And then just add the numerators. One plus two is three. And so that gives you three over two. And for the other one, negative 1 half plus 1, that's negative 1 half plus 2 over 2. And negative 1 plus 2 is 1, so you get 1 over 2. Now at this point, we need to simplify what we have. So for this expression, I recommend multiplying the top and the bottom by 2 thirds. And for the other one, just by 2. 2 thirds times 3 over 2. The 3's will cancel, and the 2's will cancel. And so you're just going to have 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. For the second one, 2 times a half is 1. And so you're just going to have negative 2 times u to the 1 half plus c. Now the last thing we need to do is replace u with x plus 1. And so the final answer is going to be 2 over 3 times x plus 1 raised to the 3 over 2 minus 2 times x plus 1 raised to the 1 half plus c. And so this is the final answer of the problem.